vacation. This is so weird because I always sit down at my computer like first thing, right? Like when I usually have my breakfast and do my client check-ins. In the six years that I have worked for Black Iron Nutrition, I have never, ever taken my full week's vacation. Part of this is because I have mental problems, but the other part is just because I don't ever usually like go anywhere for Christmas and I kind of like feel bad, like I want people to be able to check in with me. However, this year has really, really allowed me to practice setting boundaries and one of them I feel like I need to really get better at is my work personal and I think it's because number one a lot of people talk shit about working from home and how it's not a real job in particular my job they say I don't have a real job this 70 70 active clients with four new ones waiting okay I know that I don't need to explain myself to you guys because I actually clock like a legit amount of hours per week sometimes it's over 40 sometimes it's right at 40 while well, still you know like working to create content for Ben and my own content and YouTube and Instagram and all that fun stuff and it actually is a job I have a hard time when it comes to like the end of the day like when more clients check in I'm like oh well I'll just I'll just do theirs instead of like picking a certain time like most people to like log off I don't do that and over the course of that happening I just feel like I never really ever stop I start my day at 6 o'clock it's 6 30 right now and I always just like go right to the computer and start my client work like I'm and then just throughout the day all the way until people still continue to check in at like you know their time until then I will reply in the evening past 6 p.m. And the other thing that really bothers me about that and people talk shit about me in that situation is they act like I've never worked a quote unquote real job. If you've been around, you already know. There was a there was a point in my career where I worked three jobs just so that I could try to become a nutrition coach full time. And I was nutrition coaching on the side, so technically it was four. <laughs> I worked at a law firm, I worked for a police department, I literally had a six at night till six in the morning overnight job. Okay, so let me, just enjoy this week off. <laughs> okay, so I know, I know, like I'm not discrediting anyone else's like, you know, schedules. Cause every time I say that people are always like, well, you don't even know cause you don't work 12 hour shifts. Okay, but I did. Anyways, welcome. I don't know what to do with my life. I'm resisting the urge to click on the check-in button. Let me, let me just check it. Let me just see. Tonight we're doing our Christmas dinner since um, Morgan and Colin are going on their honeymoon act on actual Christmas. So today I have a 60 minute endurance run, which that sounds enthused. I cannot even believe that I'm excited to do this. Now there will be intervals, so it's not like running the entire 60 minutes. I'm gonna have walking intervals, of course. I'm so pumped about it because every other week I do this long endurance Thursday and it's nice because it gives me a break from doing two days every single week on Wednesday. So if you're interested in that and like kind of more on my schedule and how I'm doing that, let me know in the comments below. I'm also considering perhaps using the playbook app to like create my own at home workout since I now basically have like a whole entire gym downstairs and I feel like that would be something that I could do for fun. I don't know. Let me know. I, I would love to hear what you guys think because I don't know like what the general consensus is about things like playbook and stuff like that. I know a lot of online creators use it, but I'm just not familiar. Instead of doing check-ins, I'm gonna drink my coffee and like I don't know, watch a YouTube video maybe. I'm so excited. This is so dumb, but I'm so excited. And then we're gonna go run. And then probably clean the house. I'm really not gonna do that much stuff. Anyway. <laughs> I did not eat before this run and here's why I always eat like protein carbs a little bit of fat before an actual workout like a strength workout but when it comes to a really long endurance run I find I think I talked about this in my previous uh, full day of eating video I always get cramps and it feels so bad 
if I have a lot of food in my stomach before a long run like this. So we only have my coffee to fuel this run, but that's okay because it's gonna be over shortly and then I can eat a lovely big breakfast, which kind of like motivates me while I'm running. Like I can't wait to eat this big old breakfast after this. Okay. Don't rush, all right? Listen to the words, okay? Start off nice and slow, y'all. One coil on that incline. We're gonna crank that speed up to the others. Eliza has an ultrasound today at 310. I'll keep you updated on that later today. This is glorious. Like I'm not even, I'm not even stressed about one thing. I shouldn't say that. The universe is gonna be like, ah, bit. Look at that peanut butter on top. But let's check the inside. Hopefully I didn't over bake this. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Perfect. Amazing. Breakfast dessert. I have got super white face right now. I put so much SPF on. I got a peel yesterday and my face is not looking so hot. How is this? Alexa, play Pop Christmas. which was the, arguably the worst idea I've had thus far, but I really needed to because I needed my prescription. And, oh my gosh, wait, hold on a second. I need to show you guys my teeth, wait. Got my little buttons off the other day, I'm so excited. Uh, okay, so it is 12.35, hi sweet girl. Not like really hungry, so I think I'm gonna hold off on eating something right now, but then I don't wanna like eat a late lunch because we're having Christmas dinner at five. Oh, I wanna show you guys this too this lumen thing. Literally, I've gotten so many requests to review this thing. I'm gonna show you on my app. Watch this. It says I'm at level four carb usage right now. My body is burning carbs for fuel. I, I need like more data and more information to fully like make my either review video or give a full like thought process on it because I don't fully grasp how this is supposed to help. Consider this thing called a flexible metabolism. That's what uh, this bases it off of. And I apparently right now I burn mostly carbs, which would make sense given the style of training I do. But again, I just need some more research and some more information before I uh, fully give you guys my thoughts on that. All right, I'm gonna get ready for my therapy appointment. I'll be back later. <laughs>
sadder than it actually is. She's just a little sedated because of the ultrasound, uh, which I just got back from. The good news is that her ultrasound is clear. There was no tumors or anything that would have been a major concern, like no swollen pancreas, no swollen lymph nodes, nothing like that, which is good, but in the same token, I still, like, I feel, like, I just feel so bad for her, you know? Like, she's already been through the heartworm process twice, and she still came back positive, so we're gonna try one more time a different procedure, I guess, which is good, right? But, like, I just feel, I just feel so bad for her, like, she just this poor dog has gone through so much trauma and i just like i want to fix it and i want to make it okay and i just i can't there's her room is just so much more serious i think than most pet owners understand and you know the vet just seems to think that for however long she's had it like three four years who knows that it's causing like severe inflammation in her body and she's already been through the treatment and then she was resistant to it somehow and she came back positive again so we're going to try again, obviously not now, but at the end of January to retreat her for the heartworm and hopefully that will take care of it. But man, that's no joke and I feel so bad. She's fine. She's just out of it, which I guess is a good thing that we're doing dinner so that she can rest and she'll just be sleeping. So my sweet baby, I feel so bad. I have to get ready for this dinner. All right, I need to be more positive. I would really show you guys my face up close, but uh, it's peeling so bad. So I'm going to stand back here and close out this Vlogmas uh, series. I am so grateful and it was so fun to do the series again this year. So I really appreciate all of you as per usual. Oh, we don't need to be focusing on the Christmas fern here. Liza. You okay, sis? <laughs> you all right, mama? Yeah, sweet girl, you're okay. That is a wrap for Vlogmas. I'm sure I will film some point on Christmas because Sam is coming and we're just hanging, but I want to be done with this series and get back to resuming normal Mondays with Manders. I love you guys so much. Thanks for joining me on this 2021 Vlogmas and I'll see you in my next episode. Oh. <laughs>